Thomas O'Grady, Derek Shields, Brian McCormack, Alan Kenny, Emmett O'Grady, and Ray Casey complete the front two rows. They're under starters' orders. There's a way. They're away they go, and a flying start again from Thomas O'Grady. But it looks as though the BMW of Brian McCormack may be first into turn one. Indeed, he yeah, is. Yeah, he certainly is, and he's uh, followed closely by second place. But d d no, sorry, Derek Shields has dropped to third, and Thomas O'Grady has taken up second place there. When it is that early lead from Brian McCormack on the FHO Racing BMW, Thomas O'Grady there in second place, Derek Shields, Emma O'Grady, and I think that's Alan Kenny right in behind him as they approach the main arena once again. Yes, we have a red flag, hands so this race up, is yes, going to be hands stopped. Are up. Yes, the red flag is out. Uh, waiting for the lights to go, and they do go, but Thomas O'Grady gets the whole shot this time. McCormick got a flyer again up the outside, but I don't think he'd be able to make advantage of that as they get through turn one for the first time. It is Thomas O'Grady. And Alec Kenny's up into second from the second row of the grid. That's a tremendous start oh, from McCormick. McCormick is up the inside through turn two. McCormick up the inside of Alan Kenny. That's a brave, brave move. And did they make it through? They did. And Derek Shields hot on their heels. Wow, we are at it already, ladies and gentlemen. Just three corners in. But there they are through turn 7A and 7B. O'Grady, McCormick, Alan Kenny, Derek Shields. And then it looks like Ray Casey up there running strongly in uh, sixth position, I think it is. Yeah, fifth, fifth uh, position. Fifth in position. Uh, Emmett Emmer O'Grady is behind him. So obviously uh, Emmett bogged it maybe on the start and didn't get away as, as he would have hoped. But still in the mix, they're not far back from the leader's pack. But fiercely competitive. Fight. Shields on the move, Shields is on the move up the inside of Alan Kenny. And there goes Derek Shields, certainly. Derek uh, getting the bit between the teeth. It's a drag race here to all the way up the main straight as they go past us now. Yeah, fabulous manoeuvre from Derek, but just couldn't make it stick. And the power of Alan Kenny's R1 was able to match the M1000 of Derek Shields, but still Thomas O'Grady and Brian McCormick duke it out as they head out of turn two for the country corner. There, Emmett O'Grady has gotten the better of Ray Casey, but already there's a big gap, and interestingly, Jamie Collins, well in control in the Superbike class there, has at least a half a second in front of his nearest rivals, yeah. which is on you. But Derek Shields is still sitting pretty there. He'll maybe make a move shortly, see if he can do what he did in the previous lap and Shields go again, outside. Shields again makes the move on Alan Kenny at the same place. Can he make it stick this time? I think he may. And not going to give Alan Kenny the opportunity this time to make the move again into turn one as we watch it. Yes, he gets the hammer down. And now Shields is on the move. Wonderful superbike action here, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen close racing like this for a number of rounds, but it's really, really good to have all these guys back. Brian McCormick, a welcome return on the FHR racing machine. Somebody in trouble there at turn one. That's Carl McGahan, the cup rider. Oh. Andrew Beardy got past him, and so he's now hunting down uh, Jamie Collins in the cup battle. And the fastest lap has been placed by Brian McCormick on the FHO BMW M1000 RR. Fastest lap by Derek Shields, 1 minute 41.244. Wow, they're in, they are within one second of the lap record here, and that stands to Alistair Seeley from 2008. 14 years ago this lap record was set, so McCormick within a second of the lap record. Wonderful stuff indeed. But look at look at McCormick right up the tailpipe now of Thomas O'Grady. Wow, on to the last lap we are, so is McCormick going to make a move? Can he? Can he? Can he squeeze some more horsepower out of this? I know he was having some problems with the BMW earlier over the weekend with some uh, engine sensors that were causing him some engine braking issues and uh, he just wasn't quite happy with it, but looks as though it's everything on the line on this last lap for Brian McCormick. Sheen's not out of it by any stretch of the imagination either. So I think this one is in the bag for Thomas O'Grady, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful stuff indeed. Yeah, from brilliant. A back-to-back -back Superbike victory for Tommy O'Grady, absolutely astonishing stuff. That was one of the best Superbike races we've seen in quite a while here. Cracking stuff.